Part two of WPSD's Local 6 Legal Live, visiting with Tara Swanson, Kevin Shannon of the Bryant Law Center, Paducah and Louisville. We're talking motorcycle safety. Got a question? Give us a shout. one 888 Right down there if you forget it. You can read it, dial it, give us a call. Um, Got a question that has really popped up over the last few years, and Kevin, I'm going to direct this one at you, but uh, Rocky says, there's a neighbor in my neighborhood, I guess on my road, when they cut the grass, so they blow the grass into the road. Is there somebody that I can tell this to? I mean, is that a problem? Well, uh, you, you can tell somebody, you, you, you know, obviously if I had a neighbor that I had a, a, at least a halfway decent relationship with, I'd go next door and talk to them, see if they couldn't just blow the grass uh, back toward their yard. Uh, if they refuse to do that, then uh, I think you could report it to uh, the city if it's being done in the city or uh, to the county if it's outside city limits and uh, maybe your city or county government could uh, talk to them. At least in the city of Paducah, I, I, I think they're supposed to clean uh, grass and debris out of the street as a, as a property owner. Uh, as far as liability, you as a property owner, uh, you can have some liability if somehow, some way, uh, your blowing of trash or uh, yard debris into the roadway creates a hazardous condition uh, that causes an accident. So that's something that uh, you need to think about as a property owner as well. I have a question from Jason who wants to know, do you have to take a motorcycle safety course in order to get your motorcycle license? As far as I know in Kentucky, you do not have to have um, that course in order to get a license. We encourage everyone, however, to take a safety course because there will be so many things in there that you hadn't thought of before. Um, and I believe most insurance companies will give you some sort of discount or benefit for taking one of those courses. So we encourage everybody to do that for that reason as well. Um, actually, we just... Kevin and I just recently, this Saturday, went to the safety course at Four Rivers Harley-Davidson and we appreciate the opportunity to do that and spoke with them about legal issues facing motorcyclists and liability issues and insurance issues and all that sort of thing. So you can get a lot of great information if you take one of those courses and it's just going to help keep you safe, which is what we all want in the long run anyways. Got about a minute left in our segment today and we have a question from Barry who says, is lane splitting legal in Kentucky? And I think we might want to talk, Kevin, about what lane splitting is. Do we know about that? It, well, I, I don't, I think I know what he's talking about and I, I think that motorcycles are not supposed to ride side by side in a single lane. I, th I think you're supposed to follow one behind each other. Uh, I'm not a motorcycle rider personally. Uh, so I don't know that from experience and honestly I've never had a case uh, so I've never had an occasion to look that law up but I do believe I'm right that motorcyclists are supposed to follow each other single file and not ride side by side. It's part of our summer safety series presented by the attorneys at the Bryant Law Center in Paducah and Louisville. Tara Swanson, Kevin Shannon, our thanks to both of them for their expertise in today's segments. If you'd like to review either one of these, you're welcome to do so. We'll have it up shortly. Look under the Legal Line icon online at our website, WPSDLocal6.com.